Welcome back. The ninth date of the Pan American Games is taking place in Santiago de Chile. The journalist Eduardo Regnesi has more details from the headquarters of the Games. Hello, good afternoon. We are here at the Peña Lelén Park in the easternmost part of the city of Santiago. A very beautiful park. We were here yesterday. We are here today. It's all about beach volley today. We are here to witness the semifinals from the men between Cuba and United States. Semifinal number one. It's happening at 19 hours, 7 o'clock. Also later on, 20 hours, 8 p.m. local time, the Primos Grimal, the Grimal Cousins against the Brazilian couples, the Chilean couple are one of the favorites to win the gold medal but the Brazilian couple had an amazing match yesterday and they are here to try to make it to the final. Earlier today we had the women's semi-final where Canada defeated Argentina 2-0 and Brazil did the same against the United States 2-0 so they secure a spot in the final. Let's talk about the other volleyball. The other volleyball is not happening here, it's happening at the Movistar Arena or Higgins Park where Chile defeated Colombia and secured the fifth spot in the standing. And right now, Argentina is defeating Mexico for the bronze medal. Later on tonight, the actions are going to close with Dominican Republic facing Brazil in the women's side for the gold medal. This is going to happen at 8 p.m. local time. And of course, we are going to bring you all the details, all the results here at the beach volley, also volleyball at O'Higgins Park. That's it for now. We go back with you guys in the studio. We continue in Chile, house of the 19th Pan American Games. Today, a press conference was held up with the participation of international sports stars who are currently active and others who have already retired. Let's listen to the following video. Today at noon, local time, and alongside Harold Mike Nichols, director of Santiago 2023, and Nevin Illich, president of ODEPA, three international figures talked in front of the international press at the national stadium. Javier Sotomayor, Olympic gold and double world champion in high jump. Mikhail Lopez, four times Olympic champion in wrestling, both from Cuba, and Ukrainian Sergei Bubka were invited to the International Press Center where they talked to the press. I feel happy, proud to be part of the athletes who are ambassadors here in America. In these games, I hope you all continue to have successful games. And that you continue to enjoy the performance here in America. From his part, five times Pan American champion who was present during the Cuban Games in baseball valued the connection between the public and the crowd, especially the connections with children. Many of us active, retired athletes did not have the possibility to see the athletes of the past who were on a high level and we could not have contacts with them. To have the presence of high level athletes is truly a dream, the possibility to see things live. We have to help them with the mentality of the times we are living in. The athletes have to interact with the young people so that the young people are inspired to achieve things in sports because sports is a teaching that leads you to achieve results and to live life. Well, Sergey Bubka mentioned the world-class infrastructure, comparing these games to what you see on the Olympic Games, and it's excited about the legacy that these games are going to leave in Chile. Now the international athletes are going to watch the different sporting events in support of their fellow athletes.